Hello, this is uh, Matthew Robert Payne, and uh, this is a prophecy for David, who requested a prophecy off my website. You can find the description tag will uh, tell you underneath the video uh, how you can order a prophecy off my website. So uh, David, uh, I'll just pray. So dear Father, I pray that uh, you give me a word for David a word to bless him, encourage him, and lift his spirits up. In Jesus' name, amen. <coughs> <coughs> In all sorts of ways, my health is getting affected. I've got some itchy legs and I'll need to go to the doctor because I'm itching too much. I've got this cough that I've had for six weeks and had some medication and uh, and it almost went and then uh, got a second course of medication. And I'm hoping it'll go again. I'm getting all sorts of attack uh, from all different directions. And uh, it's because I'm doing an interview with John Lennon um, and it's gonna be a powerful book. I don't know if I've ever come under this sort of attack, but I sense, uh, in saying all this, I sense that uh, you um, you are getting attacked also uh, in some sort of way. Uh, I sense that um, uh, this sort of opposition rising up against you uh, for some reason. And, um, uh, I guess uh, the Lord just uh, wants me to tell you that uh, the enemy only attacks something that's a threat. Uh, the enemy only expends his energy to come against someone who he knows is a threat, who's, who's proven to be a threat and uh, is, uh, is going to continue to be a threat so the enemy comes in to try and neutralize that person, uh, to push that person back, uh, to demoralize that person, to uh, turn the person away. <coughs> turn the person around. Sometimes even just distract the person. Um, bad reviews. Uh, on books or uh, bad comments on videos or uh, arguments on Facebook. There are all ways that uh, the enemy can get your attention off what's important and distract you and get engage you in something else. I sense that, uh, that uh, uh, you would really do well if uh, you ordered a blueprint, which is like $150 and it's a really extensive look at what you're meant to do with your life. And I know that you could benefit out of that. And that's not me upselling and trying to earn more money off you. Uh, I just uh, feel that uh, you have a lot of potential. Uh, I sense that uh, uh, some of the things I sense, I sense that uh, you've got tremendous leadership qualities. Um, uh, I sense you're the sort of person that uh, will come out with a good idea. You get good inspired ideas and, uh, or you see revelations in scripture and you may say, why don't we do it this way? Or why isn't it done this way? And uh, <clears throat> you've just observed something that's not uh, too efficient or not a good way of doing something. And you come out with an idea, well, why don't we do it like this? That would solve the problem. And um, people aren't open to that. People aren't open to change. Uh, the church certainly isn't open to being rebuked and told that they're a bunch of hypocrites and they're 10 times worse than the Pharisees. They're not open to it. They're not open to a new way. They're not open to change. Uh, so many times people aren't open to revelation that contradicts or seems to be totally different to uh, what 2,000 years of tradition has taught people. So you get new ideas and new revelations and 
uh, new new ways of doing things. <coughs> and I sense that as the Spirit of the Lord encourages me to uh, share these things with you because you've already experienced a measure of rejection and non-acceptance and um, people misunderstanding you. It's interesting that you brought up that I, I was the founder of the Personal Prophecy Group, and I was, and I started that, and I come under a tremendous attack, and I, I attacked the Jezebel who attacked me, and um, someone in my admin, some, someone that was helping in the site, uh, asked all the other, other admins to demote me and take me from being the leader of the site. And uh, I could see this mutiny happen. And uh, so I reached out to a friend that was on the site and uh, asked him, uh, could he take over? And uh, I stepped away from my own ministry. And, uh, and it's interesting that that was important to you, that that's who I was. Uh, because um, that's who you are. You, you're going to have new ideas. You're going to... Uh, you're going to be um, a founder of things. You're going to be uh, a person who uh, is a forerunner, a person who does a new thing in the world. Um, that was the first uh, prophecy group on Facebook that offered free prophecy. Uh, that was the first uh, for Facebook. I, I was the first person uh, to offer prophecy via email uh, from a website uh, in the world. Uh, um, I'm probably one of the first people who've interviewed saints in books. Um, I do a lot of firsts and uh, that's going to be similar with your life. I, I'm not sure how old you are, but uh, you've got this, um, you've got this useful uh, and no one has really even seen it uh, relationship with Jesus. People don't really understand it. Um, you see, Jesus as your partner, you see Jesus as a, a fellow friend. Um, you, you, you know, you honour Jesus and you love Jesus and he's your Lord, but he's also not so much your Lord. He's like walking with you. It's like your two partners. If, if you, know, you were going to set up a company with a board of directors, uh, you'd be on the board and so would Jesus. And it's like you, you, you ha you've got this approach with Jesus and this friendship that, you're going to do things together. You're going to launch things together. And, um, you know, the Lord looks, you know, Jesus looks all over the world for a friend like you. Uh, someone who doesn't say, Jesus, Jesus, praise you, Jesus. But uh, someone who wants to co-labor, someone who wants to partner, someone he can drop an idea on and you could run with it and take him with you, not running ahead of him. Uh, not worshipping him, but uh, treating him as an equal, treating him as a mate, uh, to use an Australian word, treating him as a true friend and uh, doing what he wants you to accomplish uh, as a friend, as a partner. And uh, I'm not sure if any of your friends or any of your loved ones can see how uh, dynamic, how beautiful, how um, radical that thought is. Uh, even Jesus' disciples looked up to him and, and didn't look to him as a partner. They, you know, um, the sons of thunder, who they were, um, uh, their mother was asking, can they sit on the right and the left of you in your kingdom? Like she was trying to negotiate uh, positions of power for her son, like any mother wants the best for her son. So, and Jesus doesn't want <coughs> someone coming to him for power and authority. Jesus, Jesus just wants friends. He, he wants people to get down in the trenches with him. He wants, he wants to uh, go and liberate a country. And he wants someone to work with him side by side to liberate that country. And uh, you seem to, I don't know how you fell into it. Uh, I don't know how you discovered it. Uh, you know, I don't know everything. I've just got a prophetic gift and I only know what the Lord tells me. But uh, I don't know how you ever came into the way you are or discovered how to walk. But it's so sublime. It's so easy. 
there's no stress. There's there's no one upmanship. You don't you, you don't try and be better than Jesus. So many people uh, you know, quoting John 14, 12 and uh, the greater things, and I'll do greater things than Jesus. And they're walking around with so much stinky pride, uh, you know, quoting that they're going to do greater things. And, and in reality, they're saying, I'm, I'm better than Jesus. I'm going to be better than Jesus. And, uh, you know, any good teacher uh, teaches uh, his students to outperform him. You know, he has revelation and knowledge and experience and wisdom. And he parts that into his students so that they can use the most modern technology and go on and use uh, what he achieves as their, as their floor and uh, build on what he's built. Uh, so <clears throat> any good teacher should have students that outperform him. And that's his heritage. That's his, that's his, um, that's his footprint on the earth, uh, the students that he uh, brings into um into being and uh a sense that <coughs> <coughs> this way that you've um come into this uh really uh, unique uh relationship with jesus isn't really understood by because you by people because you will do greater works than jesus uh you will uh, achieve a lot greater things than Jesus, uh, you know, dis, you know, uh, had. He had 120 people in the upper room. That's all he had. He didn't have 10,000 followers or 50,000 followers or a million followers. And um, I, I feel that the Lord is going to give you project after project after project. And uh, in years to come, in 2030, 30, uh, I don't think it's going to go much past 30, 35 years in the future, but... As the years roll out, there's going to be project and you're going to build on that, build on that. Some of the projects are going to fall away. You're going to give to other people uh, to run and direct. Uh, but uh, you're going to continue to be getting these uh, ideas and you're going to be continue to be a forerunner and you're going to continue to do a new thing. And uh, I can see you uh, developing businesses and prospering in business. Um, you've got this uh, idea that money is a tool. You've got this correct understanding of money, that money is just a resource. It's uh, like an empowerment. It's like an elastic band. You pull it back and it has power. You can release something with power. Um, you know, the more money that you got, the better advertising, the best promotion, the better resources, the better uh, support systems, the better systems, the better staff, uh, the better impact, the greater impact something can have the more it's resourced, uh, the more it's money. And uh, you can understand starting something little and, uh, and testing it and uh, making it work and then rolling out that idea that you've got in one city into every city in the world. And you've got these uh, tremendous entrepreneurial ideas and uh, somewhere you've picked up tremendous understanding of staff and management and ideas and business and... Uh, uh, the anointing and the power and the gifts. And uh, you've just got this um, uh, fascinating mind and uh, fascinating uh, uh, idea of who Jesus is and this uh, very correct and beautiful idea of uh, money just being a resource. And uh, money will never own you. Uh, lust for the things of the world will never own you. Um, pride in in uh, being someone powerful will never own you. Uh, and uh, I sense that uh, you're, you're gonna be used in a very powerful way. Uh, I, I rarely uh, will prophesy uh, big, huge things, but uh, uh, I sense that monetary wise, uh, there's no ceiling on you. I, I sense that uh, you, you'll, you'll be given ideas uh, and business ideas and you'll start and prosper in so many uh, good things that um, there's going to be a lot of a lot of a huge amount of wealth uh, come to you, and uh, I'm quite confident right here as I prophesy that uh, all that wealth is going to be used in a beautiful way, and uh, you're going to really uh, extend the kingdom. And uh, many people, many lives, many people who aren't saved are going to be saved. 
Uh, many, many people who are Christians, their, their lives are going to be developed and they're going to strengthen in the Christian faith and uh, totally radically change and uh, become amazing people. <coughs> I feel one of your best gifts will be um, to like fund other entrepreneurs and uh, disciple and train other entrepreneurs and uh, like be a father, a spiritual father of uh, entrepreneurs and uh, that their combined wealth will be 10 times the amount of the wealth that you generate. So in one way you'll generate a huge amount of wealth, but the people that you train and equip will go on and uh, together you'll, you'll, you'll um, have this uh, tremendous wealth. And uh, well, they, these are big things. This is almost like a blueprint. Uh, I encourage you to um, uh, to order a blueprint. It would be my pleasure uh, to spend half an hour uh, unpacking uh, some of the things that uh, you're going to do and what the Lord wants you to do in your life. I don't know if you uh, know, you can go to uh, uh, the part on my website where it says you can order a blueprint. Uh, you can watch some of the um, uh, blueprints I've done and the playlist on, um, on uh, my YouTube channel. Uh, and uh, be confident that uh, the Lord will give me uh, what he does. But um, uh, it's a real privilege uh, to prophesy over you. Uh, you're a really beautiful person. Uh, this sort of partnering sort of uh, relationship that you have is really unique. Uh, the reason I can see it so clearly is because that's how I am. Uh, me and Jesus are mates and we're partners and we do things together. And uh, all of my successes are his successes. All my, all my good things that I've done were the Holy Spirit's ideas. Uh, and I'm just a vessel. I'm just a donkey that carried Jesus into Jerusalem. I'm just a humble servant of his. And uh, so are you. And uh, it was a real honor to uh, bring this prophetic word to you. It was a real uh, blessing to me uh, to get to know you. I'd love to uh, talk to you on Zoom or Skype. Uh, I'd love to uh, be a friend of yours. Um, if you've got thousands of dollars, I, I need thousands of dollars to publish a book for John Lennon. Um, you know, whatever you want to send me, uh, I'd be very open to. Uh, but that's not an appeal to take all your money. Uh, but I definitely would like uh, to do a, a blueprint over you um, and give you, uh, you know, a whole lot of ideas, a whole lot of things that God wants you to do and achieve. God bless you and keep you. And uh, if you like this video, like this video, press the thumbs up. And uh, if you like this prophecy, uh, write, a, uh, write a comment. And uh, bless you and keep you, everyone listening. And uh, David, God bless.